day two of the South Island road trip. Stephen Fleming, Phil Tauterangi and myself swap BMWs and head east of Lake Tekapo through Burke's Pass. Well, the road trip continues from Tekapo through to Clearwater and there's a little spot called Burke's Pass and a country cemetery which has special family significance for me. The Burke's Pass Cemetery was always a must stop for my brother Phil on his golfing travels. And now me. So this is where my granddad was buried and he uh, died sadly at the age of just 41. Uh, he was out fishing on a lake just near Lake Tekapo called Alexandrina. And we think he had a heart attack and he fell over and into the water and of course it was so cold that he perished very, very quickly. Only 41 and my dad was just nine years of age when that happened so it was a, a life changer for him. And so we hit the road once more with the Southern Alps guiding us towards Clearwater Resort. Hello mate. Stephen, how's it going on these beautiful straight Canterbury roads? Oh, well, Dave, this is beautiful mate, isn't it? So, uh, outstanding, outstanding road trip. So apparently we've got some eels waiting for us. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but uh, what's your eeling practice like? Uh, I guess we, uh, we're we going to have to be pretty good with the hands all around. So Phil's got a, a little bit of mouldy blood in him, so he may have some uh, some history with cooking and catching eels, so hopefully he can help. So I'm not sure what I bring to the party. Mate, you're going to talk us through it with those dolphins, mate. They're very slick, professional attitudes you've got, so I'm sure we'll get some good commentary from the start. Uh, yeah. Well, look, you enjoy the drive, and we'll catch up closer to Clearwater. Clearwater, near Christchurch, is our next stop. The resort boasts a highly acclaimed 18-hole championship course, a challenging conclusion to our golfing trail, while Pepper's Clearwater serves up an equally challenging stop in our food trail. So the road trip brings us here to Clearwater, and apparently before we get out on the golf course, boys, we've got to actually go and catch our dinner, and it's uh, for a slips field, it's perfect. It's eels, you'll love it. That's right, but I'm out of practice, so I'm using my captaincy <laughs> skills, and we've got the stockings. And obviously the bucket. What and, the hell do uh, I get? And Phil's going to hoot them over to let you do your thing. Oh, no, oh hang for... on a minute. You're the safest pair of hands in New Zealand uh, yeah. cricket. And there, so there I'm, 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 I'm going to hit it down here. I'm a visitor. I'm not tanga yep. whenua. So I'll, I'll leave that duty to the locals. Ah. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, no, that's uh, spot on. Where's the teamwork? Oh, here we go. Oh, he's coming. Yeah. He's moving. Come on. Here we go. Look at that. There you go. Hold <laughs> oh, no, up by the head. <laughs> Hold up by that head. This is the bear. This is the bear grills in me. Coming for. Oh. Get on that seat. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Under controls. <laughs> Under controls. Here we go. Lakes restaurant chef Dean Ding prepared our catch of Manuka honey smoked eel. Right, let's try this. Manuka honey and beautifully smoked and... Mmm. Mm. Good on, Chef. Beautiful. Following a unique Clearwater lunch, it's time for an equally unique round of golf. 